Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode. Uh, we'll just jump right in, and uh, today's topic, we're going to be covering the CRUD in group policy settings. The create, replace, update, and delete. Uh, a lot of people have questions about what the difference is, and when you're making a policy, whether it be for a folder option or for a map drive, you always run into these actions that you have to select. And so having a better understanding of what they do and how they function is going to just overall make you a better engineer, and it's something that's important that you need to know. Um, so jumping right into it, um, I went ahead and made a couple of sample options here, just in this quick group uh, GPO that I made. And you'll see here uh, we have the update, create, replace, and delete. Um, so the, you'll notice that green that the create option is green and then we have yellow for update and then red for replace and they do this sort of traffic signal style to let you know what the um, which is the the least option that's gonna affect what you're doing so it's the least invasive that is I guess is a better term for that um, so update would be, if it exists, it'll be updated with new settings. And if there are other settings associated with this, they will be maintained. If it doesn't, if this object doesn't exist, create it. So change it if it exists and create it if it does not. However, nothing's gonna get removed if you do that. So there's still, so if you have an existing policy that you want to remove you want to completely change this is not going to be the best option for you this is only going to modify the specific changes located in this policy create is if it doesn't exist create it if it already exists don't make any changes at all that's why this is the, the green one basically it's the least invasive it's going to say oh i see i see the policy here is already here it already exists I'm not going to do anything if it doesn't i'll make it the next option is replace. If it already if it already exists, delete it and recreate it with these settings. If it does not exist, create it. And of course, delete is very straightforward. If it exists, delete it. If it doesn't exist, don't do anything. Uh, most people like to use replace. This um, may, this ensures that whatever you are creating. Is a, is a clean slate. Um, so it'll go in, delete whatever is there for a clean start, and create the new policy. It really depends on your environment and what you're trying to do, but hopefully this will give you a better understanding of when you should use what type of policy, and it really comes down to your environment and your preference. All right, well, that does it for today's video. It's a quick little short one. I just wanted to cover this topic, and if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you.